Hey everybody, I'm on campus here at Hillside. There's very few staff on campus. We are pretty much working from home, but this is room 114. It became known last week as the War Room as we were meeting to discuss what is it that we need to be focused on, as always. Every time I touch a door handle, like the rest of you, a little bit of hand sanitizer. But we started planning and we started praying and we started preparing to say, what, what's the new reality that we're going to live in? And so we begin to fill these walls with plans and dreams and, and vision and, and just praying that, uh, I know it's backwards, that we would be able to see God's hope transform our cities one story at a time. We, we're just reminded that in a season like this, our plans do have to change. We are in a mode of improvise adapt, overcome, as the Marines would say, but we're also in a, a mode of saying God is on the move in the midst of sorrow, in the midst of grief, in the midst of trouble, and we as a church want to be able to uh, reach out with God's hope, be centered in God's hope, offer God's hope to those who don't know it, offer God's hope as a reminder to those who do, but they're in the midst of trial. And I just want to say, keep praying for your staff. Keep praying for the leaders around Hillside. We need God's wisdom. We need God's hope ourselves, just like you do. We're praying for you. We're, we're pleading that God would do in your life what only God can do. And we believe that before long, I don't know how long, before long, we're going to emerge out of this season and we're going to be able to hear stories, tell stories, celebrate stories of God's faithfulness for all of us, even in the midst of the hard times. Um, I'm so proud of our staff. I'm so thankful for the team that God has assembled. We're working probably harder than ever before to get ready for the next day, the next week, the next month, the unknown. Um, it's taken a time to regroup. It's taken some time to, to think through um, how do we live out God's hope in this new reality. But, but there are so many things where we're hearing stories of God's faithfulness even in the midst of the hard times. We're going to start celebrating and sharing those more and more and more in the coming days, but be praying for us as we're praying for you. Hey everybody, here I am now at home in uh, the international headquarters of McCray Ministries. I just made that up, uh, AKA this is my bedroom. This is a makeshift office. We had this uh, photography board studio thing. There's the ceiling. There's a makeshift desk out of a piano. We're just making things happen. This is where I've spent most of uh, the last couple of days, lots and lots of Zoom meeting calls. We just finished up a amazing staff meeting with some of our key leaders and board members. We even ended by singing happy birthday to one of our staff members, trying to make the best of a, a very challenging time. And I know that many of you are feeling the, the heavy, heavy weight of this season. We just got news that our kids will be out of school for an extended uh, another, what is that, month? So we're just following through on that motto. I, I just keep, it's going over in my head again and again, the unofficial motto of the Marines. We're uh, improvise, adapt, overcome. We're just trying to do our best. Uh, it feels like we're on a battlefield, doesn't it? And a battlefield for our minds, our hearts, our souls, physically, financially, our jobs, all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to take a minute and just say, uh, we're with you. God is with you most importantly. That's what really matters. There is still hope because our God is still in control. It's pretty chaotic. I get that. I, I know there's reasons for fear and anxiety and that kind of thing, but uh, I've been studying and have a message that's really burning in my heart for this weekend. The, the title of this sermon is, It's Okay to Ask Why? And I've really broken down uh, why into those seasons when we ask why God or what are you up to, the, the steps that we take where we move from that to the cries of help God, and then we move into the stage of yet God where we're reaffirming our faith and our trust in God. And these are laments biblically, Psalms of lament, an important category, and I'm just inviting um, all of us to engage this weekend and to enter into lament. It's okay to express our grief and our sorrow. And, and at the same time, our faith, our trust in God. Hope you'll join us this weekend. But right now, I wanted to take a minute and just pray. There's so many of us who are watching the news. We feel the anxiety. Maybe there's job struggles already. Maybe you have to go out into doing your job and it puts you at risk, potentially exposing you to the virus. Um, there's job loss all around us. 
there's financial concerns all around us. I wanted to just take a moment right now and pray over all of us. Would you just join me wherever you're at watching this video in prayer? God, we need you. God, we're desperate for you. God, we pray that you would help uh, bring comfort and hope in the midst of these situations. God, I, I pray that your great, great work um, in our hearts, our souls, our minds would continue, maybe even as never before. But there's people right now listening to my voice who need your peace, need your grace, need your comfort. And I pray that you would meet them in a real, tangible, powerful way right now. Jesus, it's in your name we pray. Amen. We're going to continue to do the best job we can to keep you informed, keep you engaged. Our staff is working so hard, so faithfully. Amazing God stories of how our people from Hillside are out there serving the community in this new dynamic. Obviously, we can't do it the way we have before. How people are reaching out to each other, sharing prayer requests, praying for one another, being the church in this time. God, uh, bless you. I'm so grateful for you. May he protect you, cause his face to shine on you. Um, talk to you really soon. Bye.